What's going on y'all? Crowback here. <clears throat> uh, you're not going to see me in this video till later in a minute, but uh, that's for good reason. Um, we're going to show y'all how to make a bomb pop. Uh, bomb pop alcoholic edition, uh, 21 plus bomb pop. And uh, I've seen other, I watched about a dozen other videos and everybody was making bomb pop cocktails, but they were only taking a bomb pop and sticking it in the drink at the end but I thought to myself why not make the whole thing out of bomb pops itself and um, also the vodka we're going to be using is red white and berry which is technically bomb pop flavored because it is cherry citrus and blue raspberry and that's what bomb pop is <clears throat> so to make this drink I kind of wanted to show you all how I did it and this is the first time I've ever done it and uh, it could uh, be stronger, it could be weaker, depends on how you like it. Um, I made mine just um, just good, just alcoholic enough to be slushy form, not too thick, not too thin. <clears throat> and um, first, you want to go to the store, ABC store, and buy your Smirnoff. Then you want to go to uh, whatever grocery store, get some Bomb Pops. <clears throat> and the first step, get your Bomb Pop out. And you want to separate the three colors, red, white, and blue. I got my three cups here. And <clears throat> it's as simple as that. I'm trying to do this one handed, sorry about that. But we got this, the one red. And you know, I'm not wearing gloves or nothing, but you know, I'm just going to eat this myself. No one else is going to enjoy this, so it's all right, my germs. Alright, so we're getting the white off here, and if you get, you know, a little bit of red left over or blue, try to separate the best you can. But, um, <clears throat> this is just for demonstration. I'm not going to sit here and cut all the, all that, you know, the whole box or anything. Just for demonstration, you separate the red, white, and blue in your cups. And once you get about, you know, if it's just for you, I'd use a whole box of Bomb Pops, for real. And um, <clears throat> if it's more than one person, use two, three, four boxes of Bomb Pops, maybe even five, depending. And what you do after that is you get your fork or whatever utensil, and you smush it up. You know, let's see if we can get down in here. Whoa, come back here now. Anyway, you smush all those up, you pour a little bit of vodka in there. Uh oh, I'm getting the bottle sticky. We'll wash all this off, sorry. Right. Anyways, you pour accordingly to how much bomb pop you got, to how much vodka. That right there is probably too much. Drop the top and everything. But um, after that, you mix it all up once you got it mixed up I would put it back in the freezer for a little while let it set and harden back up and after that you um, <clears throat> of course want to get your blue first have that all set up at the bottom you take your white you put it gently on top you take your red put that gently on top and then if you come on over to um, the freezer here This is what it's going to look like, look like at the end. Red, white, and blue. Very patriotic. Bomb pop. And it's made of all bomb pop. No ice added. No water added. Just vodka. And I would say it's probably like two shots of vodka in this. It's a very uh, slushy formed. It's, uh, it's thick, but it's not like water. And I'm going to go ahead and stick a straw in it. And let's go on over here. Sorry if um, my camera work is not the best. This video. I don't know what I just did. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I think my camera just took a thousand pictures on accident. <clears throat> this video is falling apart. I'm not used to um, moving around so much. 
I usually set the camera down and then that's it. <clears throat> Hopefully it's a um, good shot right here. Don't know. Let's go ahead and uh, get a taste of the red. Uh, I don't know if a straw is the best thing for this. It's definitely all cherry. And again, I could have put more vodka in this to make it a drink, a drink, and not slushy. But the first time making it, uh, you know, this is a trial and error process for me. Uh, seriously, I watched a dozen videos and no one used full on bomb pops to make the drink. So I could have thinned it out a lot more, but I wanted a slushy for the first experience. Um, maybe next time I'll make it more iced up and all that. Let's see if we can get down into the white. Oh yeah, I taste the citrus now. Let's get some of the blue raspberry. Go all the way down to the bottom. I'm starting to mess up my line. It was so good a minute ago. Again, two shots of uh, vodka in this. I can't taste it whatsoever. Mm, blue raspberry is good. I would have to say the cherry is my favorite part of the bomb pop. Mm. See if we can uh, get this without the straw. Nope. <clears throat> Alright, since I've uh, taken pictures of it, showed it off, let's, um, ah, should I add vodka to it? No. That'll mess, the, uh, that'll mess it all up. Oh, well, there's already blue on the top. Let's add a little vodka to it, see if uh, it's okay. <clears throat> see if it's okay, um, whatchamacallit, watered down, not watered down. Vodka it down. Just a little bit more. Yeah, let's go ahead and like get it down in there. Can you hear me? Mic, mic check. One, two. One, two. This is the best alcoholic drink I've ever had. <clears throat> I poured more vodka in it and still no hint of alcohol whatsoever. I'm trying to mix it up, but still looking pretty good. <clears throat> uh, for this being the first time, that's a uh, very great experience. Only spent, you know, the 22 bucks on the drink, which will make plenty more of this if I wanted to. Bomb Pops. You know, three dollars a pack for twelve. So um, this right here, when it was full, it was ten. So it wasn't even a full box. I just wanted to make a full cup. And uh, this might be like the best alcoholic mix I've uh, ever had. Mixed drink. I don't know if you call this a cocktail. I feel like I could add even more vodka to it. Let's go ahead and do it. Just a little bit at a time, just to see if it waters it down good. I'm uh, experimenting right now because I can see what it does now. So I can maybe try it next time. And I might even shoot a video of it then, just not the whole process, just me enjoying it next time. I definitely recommend it. Uh, it was very easy to make. I mean, going out and getting all the supplies was the hard part. Uh, the tedious part was chopping it all up. Mixing it and putting it together was easy, just like making a sandwich or something.
that time I got a hint of vodka. But I think that's just because it was near the top and I had the straw at the top. <laughs> now it's definitely mixed up. But uh, try it if you can. Smirnoff, red, white, and berry. Get your bomb pops or your firecrackers. Whichever you can find. And make this drink yourself. <clears throat> You'll get drunk before you know it. I'm not drunk yet, but I'm sure after this uh, cup of greatness, 10 out of 10 by the way, um, <clears throat> after this I'm definitely going to be feeling good and um, I recommend it all the way. Let me know if y'all have ever made a concoction like this or have y'all ever heard of something um, that I don't know y'all recommend or might want to try out or want me to try out. I'm always looking for new ideas. Happened to create one myself today because, uh, you know, I was intrigued and I wanted to try it out. Let me know what you've tried and I'll see you in the comments down below. And I'll also um, leave a description or a step-by-step -step of how to do this just to, I don't know, so you can write it down, make it easier or whatnot. But I'll see you in the next video. Crow out.